Hey everyone, it's Oliver here. Welcome to New at Cooking. Today I'll show you guys how to make the perfect carbonara. It is one of the easiest pasta dishes out there, yet it is so tasty and only requires 5 ingredients. The original carbonara calls for pancetta or guanciale, but they are harder to find depending on where you live, so I decided to use thick sliced bacon. I am cooking for 2 here, so I will be using 2 slices of bacon, 2 eggs, freshly grated parmesan cheese, about 8 ounces of spaghetti, and also black pepper. This is a very simple dish, so if you can, try to get better ingredients, and the end result will taste vastly different. Once the water starts to boil, you want to season it generously with salt, and boil the pasta just 1-2 to two minutes less than its suggested cooking time. So when the box says boil 9-10 to 10 minutes, I'm just going to boil it for 8 minutes because the pasta will continue to cook once it's mixed with the sauce. Now once the pasta is in the pot, we can start preparing the sauce. The sauce and the bacon can be finished within 8 minutes. First you will want to cut the bacon into similar sized squares. Thicker sliced bacon gives the bacon a slightly chewy texture once it's cooked, instead of having really crispy bacon bits in the pasta. Now this chewy texture mimics the original carbonara. And once it is cut into cubes, put it in a cold pan and turn on the stove. This helps to render out the fat in the bacon. While the bacon is cooking, we are going to crack open two eggs, grate some parmesan cheese, and if you want a creamier sauce, just add another egg yolk into it. The original carbonara calls for pecorino cheese, but I couldn't find it anywhere. So I'm just going to substitute it with a good parmesan. You want to have roughly 4 tablespoons of grated parmesan in the mixture and be sure to add plenty full of black pepper. Beat the mixture into a gooey consistency and that pretty much is the sauce. Now the bacon has been cooking for a while and you can see the fat is already starting to come out. Seems like our pasta is ready. Before we strain it, it saves some pasta water, and the pasta water is very important here because the starch and the salt will thicken up the sauce and also season it. Let's dump the pasta in the pan and give it a good mix and stir. Make sure everything is coated with that bacon grease, and pouring around a quarter cup of pasta water and turn off the heat. At this point, there should be a thin layer of water at the bottom of the pan. Once the heat is off, and you no longer hear the sizzling and the popping from the pan. That means the pan is cool enough not to fry the egg. The last thing you want is spaghetti with scrambled eggs. This is where all the magic happens. Once you have poured in the egg and parmesan mixture, you want to quickly mix it. The cheese will melt over the spaghetti, and the yolk of the egg will emulsify the pasta water and the bacon grease. Notice I didn't even add any salt to the dish. That's because parmesan, bacon, and the water are all well seasoned. There's no need for further seasoning. I had this giant wooden fork that I used just to plate pasta and we are gonna add a little finishing touch to it by sprinkling black pepper and adding more parmesan. Since I was told to eat vegetables every meal, I just had to sprinkle on some green fresh parsley. Carbonara is such a classic dish, but I think my own version of it is just as good. If anyone wants to make this recipe, all the ingredients are listed down below in the video description. And if you really enjoyed this video, please hit that like button, comment and subscribe for more future videos.